Welcome. This is the book, the 116 Wing Chun Dummy Techniques of Yip Man by his grandson Yip Jun, translated into English by Lung Ting, or assisted by Lung Ting, another famous Wing Chun practitioner. We are skipping all the techniques to get to the meat and potatoes about Bruce Lee. Grandmaster Yip Man and Bruce Lee. Among the students of Yip Chun's father, or the author's father, Bruce Lee was one of the most well-known. Bruce Lee met Grandmaster Yip Man as at Hong Kong when he was studying at the St. Francis College. Bruce Lee's father, Lee Ho Chun, was a good friend of his father. They were fellow natives of Fushan. The close relationship between Bruce Lee's father and Grandmaster Yip Man, coupled with Bruce Lee's jealous inclination towards martial arts and his assiduity in his studies, resulted in his father's dedicated coaching for the boy. And before the end of the third year of learning Wing Chun techniques from his father, Bruce Lee had to suspend his martial arts lessons for he had to leave Hong Kong for taking up academic studies in USA. Well, he had to leave because they felt the parents felt that he was going to get in trouble with the police. He's here for trouble with the police and might end up in jail. Not the life they wanted for him. So apparently he was given money to go to the US. There he stayed with a friend of the family, Ruby Chow. Worked in a restaurant for four years, which he hated until he made his big break. And here he is pictured with Sheik Kin. Sheik Kin and Bruce Lee together during a break in the film of Ether Dragon. Apparently this guy, we read an old magazine, uh, Kung Fu magazine, martial arts magazine, years and years ago, that this guy knew 30, was a master of 33 different martial arts. The great grandmaster Yip Man and young Bruce Lee. Grandmaster Yip Man, the author's son, and the author's wife in Yip's 75th year birthday party. The parting of Bruce Lee from Grandmaster Yip Man did not show any sign of permanent separation between the student and the master, but in fact there was disagreement in their mind. And the fact was, the author guesses, makes the guess, that before Bruce Lee left for USA, his father reminded him that Chinese Kung Fu is one of the sophisticated arts of China that the Chinese need Kung Fu techniques to defend themselves and to keep good health and that techniques of Chinese Kung Fu should not be taught to so freely to foreigners. It was a typically Chinese tradition of thinking of the old Kung Fu masters. Bruce Lee promised to bear this in mind before he left for USA, but soon after Bruce had reached USA, he set up a gymnasium, admitted foreign students and taught them Wing Sun, Wing Chun, techniques to the surprise and disappointment of his master. And Chinese community, the elders, etc., different masters, disapproved of who teaching foreigners the that they were used against him. So they were highly disappointed, tried to discourage him. But he fought one of the top men and earned the right to teach whoever he wanted. In the summer of 1965, Bruce Lee returned from USA to Hong Kong, brought with him his wife and son. He paid a visit to his master and requested him to teach the latter part of the wooden dummy techniques, which Bruce Lee did not learn during the three years when he followed his master in Hong Kong before he went to USA. He further asked the author's father to allow him to make a shooting of with an 8mm film of the complete set of Xiao Nim Dao little idea techniques, little form idea which he needed for his teaching in USA. In return for his master's favour, Bruce Lee offered to buy Grandmaster Yip a new domestic flat. However, Bruce Lee made a very serious mistake. That was, 
he emphasized too much about money so as to hurt his own teacher's self-respect. So Grandmaster Yip refused him, saying, I can't promise you that for the reasons that firstly you are not the only student I admitted, secondly I had never promised anyone of my students for such a request. If I accepted your proposal, what should I say to my other students? Having been rejected by the author's father, Bruce Lee turned to him to ask for help. He said, Indeed, we lived in hardship since we first came to Hong Kong more than 10 years ago. We did not even have a house of our own. The offer of a new flat would, of course, ease our hardship. However, there is something more valuable than a comfortable materialistic life to, to a man. Besides, the author's father has a strong willpower and is firm minded. This is what you and I know. The author knew. If he refused you, the author couldn't help persuade him to change his mind. Wing Sun or Wing Chang Queen and Ji Kun Do. Bruce Lee returned to USA feeling bored. He didn't teach Wing Sun or Wing Chun anymore because he knew that he would never become the number one man in Wing Chun or Wing Sun. In order to succeed in his career, he had to set up a new style and became the founder himself. So he formulated his techniques into Chi Kun Do, which he taught his own students and for which he became famous. However, the techniques of Chi Kun Do, as observed on screens, were in fact only based on the techniques of Wing Sun or Wing Chun combined with Taekwondo and Karate with some more Western boxing, judo, northern praying mantis, kung fu, etc. His theories, as released on newspapers, books and magazines, were mostly the theories of Wing Chun, or Wing Sun, then added up some Chinese philosophies of Taoism, as well as the theories of Western boxing or judo. When Bruce Lee became famous for his Chi Kun Do, the author's father never mentioned Bruce Lee. He even did not like people talk about Bruce Lee in front of him. As a matter of fact, the disagreement between the author's father and Bruce Lee, or Yip Man, was due to the difference of the life background and education of the two. The, the author's father, when young, received traditional Chinese education and was influenced by Confucianism. He had thus a strong feeling of nationalism. Besides, he was strict and fair-minded could be a hardship of life. Though he was poor during his life as a captain of the detective squad and as a tutor of martial arts, he felt happy in accepting his life. On the other hand, Bruce Lee was educated in an English school in Hong Kong before he went to USA. To further his education in philosophy, he was deeply influenced by pragmatism. He struggled for fame and wealth during his life. He succeeded in obtaining both, but leaving both behind on his death, one to the world of martial arts, the other to his wife. Grandmaster Yip Man teaching Bruce Lee the Wing Sun Chi Sao exercise. The high and low Gaon Sao movement is demonstrated by Master Yip Chun. Master Yip Chun and Master Lung Ting. See, there's two. Uh, traditions of Wing Sun or Wing Chan. There's the traditional, the original, and then there's the modified. This guy is a practitioner of both. There are modified schools. We attended one for a while in a different area of our country and they were quite strict, quite rude. Um, yeah, the, uh, practicing the traditional under uh, a known student of Grandmaster William Chung, a champion fighter. The movements were very different. The beginning movements, the leg movements, the stance, etc., were very different to the traditional. So we told her, oh, no, that's uh, completely wrong. Right, and we were being taught this modified version. So there's all political these arguments between the two parties, right, the traditional and the modified. But a very good art. Yeah, you have to be patient, it takes time to learn all the different moves like Fuk Sao, Dang Sao, etc. Et Some people get impatient and give up. Okay, he's Master Yip Chun and Master Lung Ting. It's Bruce Lee and 
get the children photo they probably combined <laughs> don't know if he's actually standing there watching in real life at that time okay okay back to the beginning of this book 116 Wing Wing Chun Dummy Techniques as demonstrated by Grandmaster Yip Man written by Master Yip Chun technical advisor Dr. Lung Ting the only book teaching you the complete set of the real Wing Chun or Wing Chun Wooden Dummy Techniques and their applications the 116 Wing Sun Wing Chun Dummy Techniques in the name of a book being planned for publication ever since the death of the author's father Yip Chun, the late Grand Master Yip Man as the heir of the Grand Master of a style of Chinese Kung Fu he felt it was his responsibility to put into print the techniques of the wooden dummy which formed the essential part of Wing Sun Queen and or Queen and to allow readers and enthusiasts of martial arts to understand through the aid of a set of photos passed to the author Yip Chun by his father Yip Man the ways of applying these techniques however publication of the books was delayed because he was aware of the fact that many fellow tutors of Wing Sun or Wing Chun style were teaching wooden dummy techniques in ways quite different from those his father taught him the appearance of the book might as he thought earlier make these tutors feel embarrassed during the past year at, uh, before this was published a tutor edited a book in his name in which the photos used as illustrations were part of his collection he obtained from his father he really didn't know how he got these photos what makes him sick is the disorderly arrangement of the materials and the incorrect and incomplete explanations and demonstrations that book will surely blur the image of his father and lead readers into misbelief of wrong techniques it's probably done deliberately so no one will actually know those techniques properly in what order that is why the author found it necessary to publish this publish this his own book and he makes a uh, thanks to Dr. Lung Ting for offering his opinion throughout the planning of this book and helping him in every way we're putting it into print it is was the author's sincere wish that readers would find this book helpful not only as a reference book of martial arts but also as an indispensable aid while taking courses of Wing Sun or Wing Chun Kung Fu by Yip Chun director of Yip Man Merit Swiss Martial Art Association looks like it's got the marital art yeah, here's the contents page description of the origin and development of the wings on dummy or Muk Jun by Long Ting the shape of the dummy he goes into deep explanation of that the origin history of the wooden dummy of Wing Sun the 116 movements of the wooden dummy techniques the present 116 movements of the wooden dummy techniques are divided into eight sections as explained below from section one to eight Grandmaster Yip Man made the shooting of the set of photos a few years before he died when he had just closed his door from his martial art career to close doors Chinese Kung Fu term which means shutting the door of the gymnasium and stopping to admit disciples he meant to pass the wooden dummy techniques to someone who could keep the complete set of it and pass it on further generations to further generations because even since he began admitting students to arguments among tutors about the correct form of the wooden dummy techniques of course some might, someone might have intentionally the chain some of the wooden dummy movements while others might have learned only a few of them before ceasing their studies and so had to create some movements to fill up the missing parts that he had not learned or learned some others might have received different coaching for the front end of its part from Grand Master Yip Man during the period when the wooden dummy techniques were undergoing a course of change still others might have learned only a few separate movements of Wing Chun Queen, Wing Chun Queen but decided to set up a personal gymnasium to teach students only as an unqualified instructor who in order to cheat their students and other laymen found it necessary to create some Wing Chun or Wing Chun dummy, wooden dummy movements that's why Grand Master Yip Man here finally decided to film the whole set of wooden dummy techniques to show the correct move 
confidence all the, all the time had no intention of making these technique, techniques open to the public. In fact, the set of photos of the wooden dummy techniques are not yet complete because there are still some missing movements. The reason for this is that at the time of making the film, both Grandmaster Yip Man and the one who took these photos had no intention of disclosing the techniques to the public, but meant only to have some proof to his followers. There are a few among Grandmaster Yip Man's students who kept the set of photos of the wooden dummy techniques. The very few who did receive a set included the ones, one or two most favourite disciples and of course his own sons. Today, Grandmaster Yip Man has been dead for years. Those who own the set of photos of the wooden dummy techniques would be numerous and therefore the wooden dummy techniques are no longer secret. However, for those who have not learnt the complete set of the wooden dummy techniques, this incomplete set of photos will make them feel more confused. For this reason, we feel that is, the author felt that it was his duty to make the set complete. That is exactly the purpose of this book, which is a product of the cooperation of Master Yip Chun, one of the author's fellow classmates and himself. It was his hope that readers, especially those who are also followers of Wing Chun system, or the Wing Chun system, will find the real outlook of the Wing Chun or Wing Chun wooden dummy techniques. That is also the primary aim of this passage. Lung Ting, BA, PhD, 10th level MOC, of International Wing Chun Lung Ting Martial Art Association, 5th November 1980. And here is 116 Wing Chun or Wing Chun dummy techniques as demonstrated by Grandmaster Yip Man. Before reading explanatory notes on the illustrations of the wooden dummy techniques that follow, readers are advised to have a careful look at the two diagrams showing the parts of the dummy and directions regarding the use of the dummy. This will enable readers to understand more clearly what is being explained in the, description, in the descriptions that follow. And this is a bird's eye view. The left and the right side of the dummy, front of the dummy, left side of tra trainer, trainee, right side of trainee. Plan of the wooden dummy, or Mukjung. Mukjung. This is what it should look like. Illustration 1 Refighting position or posture. Grandmaster Yip places his left hand in front of his right hand while facing the wooden dummy. It's basically the standard traditional Wing Chun uh, technique. Three, or is this? Yeah. Nick, pulling hand. Yeah. High and low, Gan Sao, Kun Sao, Kun Sao. Right, Bong Sao, Tan Sao, etc. etc. And he's Yip Chun. Probably doing the same thing to clear up exactly how the technique is performed. And it carries on. Park Sao, Yip slaps his right palm at the right dummy arm. Left indoor area, Park Sao. Immediately after that, Yip slaps his left palm at the left dummy arm. This guy apparently he's quite old, he's like 88 or something now, but he can still uh, tangle up people when he practices with them. He's very, very good. We watched a video documentary one time of him up against a top German Wing Chun practitioner instructor. Gave him a run for his money. This guy couldn't touch him. And through the chi cell application, that's how good he is or was. Okay, there's plenty more here. If you're a Wing Chun uh, practitioner and you're on the wooden dummy with a Mook Jun, you may find this helpful. And it carries on. And then later on in the book, it shows you the applications and the fighting techniques of Wing Chun, demonstrated by Yip Chun. Get back a bit, see what is the first one that he demonstrates.
from the Wing Chun pre fighting posture performed here by Grandmaster Yip Moon and demonstrated in combat by Yip Chun how it's applied Bong Sao, Tan Sao and Lower Lying Palm and so forth slow the video down and have a look at it, have a read maybe play around with it a bit it may help you if you are a Wing Chun practitioner or student to understand it better to apply it better to apply it correctly if that be the case And it continues. You could probably find this book and download for free online. If we found a link to a download, we'll provide it for you at the end of this video. So if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel give us a like, add your comments below the video, and then share this with all your friends, family and neighbours that may just happen to be Wing Chun students or practitioners. They may find it very, very helpful if they're like, you know, been in a couple of years or something like that and they're at this stage. Maybe a great help to them if you share it with them. Don't forget to subscribe to us, give us a like, and add your comments below the video and we'll get back to you on those as soon as possible but don't forget to tell your friends about this video and about us and body like Bruce who presented it to you <laughs>